In Activity 4, How Strong is the Force, students compare the strengths of different magnets and see that bigger magnets are not necessarily stronger magnets. Students first measure the strength at different places on each magnet and then discover that magnetic force increases as the distance between a magnetic object and a magnet decreases. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 3, Part A and B, dots, magnet rods, small magnets, and paper clips. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Parts A and B for each student. Each group of two students will need a rod magnet, a small magnet, two dots, and 25 paper clips. To begin the activity, remind the students of the tests they conducted in Activities 2 and 3 to determine which objects the magnet did and did not attract and which objects did and did not block the magnetic force. Then hold up a rod magnet and a small magnet and ask students, how strong do you think these magnets are? Accept all of their ideas. Next, ask students, is there a way to measure the strength of our magnets? Acknowledge all of the responses and, if possible, test one of the students' methods. Suggest that the students use their magnets to pick up several paper clips and to see how many clips their magnets can lift. Next, divide the students into teams of two. Distribute copies of Activity Sheet 3, Parts A and B, and a rod magnet, a small magnet, and two dots to each team. Ask students to put a colored dot on one end of each magnet and guess how many paper clips they think each end of each magnet can lift. Have them record their guesses in Part A of their activity sheets. Next, distribute 25 paper clips to each team. Have them pick up one by one, end to end, as many paper clips as possible by the dotted end of the rod magnet. Have them repeat this step three times and record their results on Activity Sheet 3, Part A. Check to make sure that students are not linking the paper clips, but rather allowing magnetism to hold the clips end to end. Help the students to average their results by adding the number of paper clips picked up in each trial and dividing by the number of trials. Tell the students to repeat the procedure using the undotted end of the rod magnet and record their results. After the students have recorded the results for the rod magnet, ask them to repeat the procedure with the small magnet. Then, when they have calculated the average number of paper clips held by each end of each magnet, ask students, which magnet is stronger? How do you know? Students should say that the rod magnet is stronger because it can lift more paper clips. Ask students, are both ends of each magnet equally strong? Those students who have been playing with their magnets may have already discovered that the ends of a magnet are stronger than the middle. Next, encourage the students to think of methods for testing the strength of the middle of a magnet. Ask students, how many paper clips do you think each magnet can hold at the middle? Have them write their predictions on Activity Sheet 3, Part B. After the students have made their predictions, Tell them to begin picking up paper clips using the middle of each magnet. Remind them to write down their results, to repeat the procedure three times, and to find the average number of paper clips held at the middle of each magnet. Then ask students, how did the number of paper clips held at the ends of the magnet compare with the number of clips held at the middle? Students should find that the end of the magnet held more paper clips than the middle of that same magnet. Next. Have a member in each team place a paper clip in the palm of one hand and hold the small magnet between the thumb and index finger of the other hand. Have him or her slowly move the magnet toward the paper clip until the clip begins to react to the magnet. Have the second team member perform the same procedure. Then ask students, what happens to the magnetic force as the distance between the magnet and the paper clip decreases? Explain that the magnetic force felt by the paper clip increases as the distance decreases. Then, summarize by asking, what can you hypothesize about magnets based on the results of these activities? Explain that a magnetic force is strongest at the ends of a magnet, and the force increases as the distance between a magnetic object and the magnet decreases. To conclude the activity, remove the dots from the magnets and return all of the materials to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.